this is pretty from it's a pretty world welcome to my channel today i'm making this pocket square pocket card uh, the card itself measures five by five square and it easily get uh, you can easily put it into a five and a quarter by five and a quarter envelope and it's easy to mail it's not very bulky at all it's quite a, a flat card so to make the card i'm starting off with an eight and a half by eleven card stock in a teal shade and on the 11 inch side i'm going to cut it at 10 inches so right there i'm going to cut it at 10 inches and then i'm on the eight and a half side i'm going to cut it at five and a quarter inch and you will see why i'm going to cut it at five and a quarter and then we're going to score this right in the center which will be five inches so that because it is 10 inches long when we score it right in the middle it's going to be five inches and then we're going to take turn the cardstock horizontally or vertically and you're going to score a quarter inch on the corner because my score blade is not my score plate is not long enough i have to turn it over so a quarter inch at one end of the longer edge so right there and then we're going to take a scissor and cut the middle score right where the center fold of the card is right there in the middle and then in an angle and then also in another angle towards the end of it so right there you so what you've done is you've created like an edge that you when you score it and you'll put you'll fold that top edge on it and then that extra bit you're going to just cut it off just like that so so now you're left with a five and a five five by five square cardstock and then we're going to add a circle of course i'm using a very sophisticated circle maker here a foam tape roll so i'm just putting it on the edge of that edge of that card uh, the open edge of the card and i'm going to just draw a semicircle and i'm just going to use a simple scissor to cut that uh, semicircle off um, just like that and if you have a circle die or whatever that that measures that size go ahead and use it i'm just raising all the extra pencil bit there <clears throat> And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that flap that we created and we're going to add a score tape, which is, which this is the strongest tape I have in my stash. So you add whatever is the strongest of your tapes in your stash. And then you just add that bit to that little flap that we created. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this uh, die cut semicircle flap onto it. So that creates a pocket. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to decorate this pocket. To decorate it, I'm using this deco stencil, which is also from uh, from Altenew. And I'm going to tape it uh, onto my surface. I added a white sheet there to protect the inside of my pocket because I don't want that stencil to be uh, laid in the inside, the, the impression of the stencil to be in the inside part of it. And then I'm going to take this aqua color, uh, it's a set of four colors from from all to new i'm so sorry i will i put the inks in the description box below for you and i just stenciled that through the stencil and i also added a little bit to the edges of the cardstock as well and there you go that completed the top part and then we're going to create the insert that goes into the pocket and this measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters i've also selected a few of the stamps that i would use from a hope stamp set from all to new and i'm going to start off by stamp layering this flower which has four layers but i'm starting off with the second layer of the flower on the corner of one of the corner of the square cardstock and i am also starting this with the lightest shade of the four blue inks or not really blue it's aqua ink and i'm going to stamp it multiple times to make it brighter and then I'm going to go to the second layer and this time I'm going to start with the second color of the four uh, and I'll tell you why the reason I'm doing that is because when you add layers of colors and if you had started I've noticed this for myself maybe I'm doing something wrong I don't know but when I start with the lightest shade in the first I usually lose the lightest shade and I never see it much but when I do it in this order, when I start off by the second layer, build it up all the way to the last layer, and then do the first layer, I always tend to see better results of the lightest shade. And you'll see what I'm trying to say. Again, the, the color is so light, the lightest one is so light. Here we go, I'm gonna start stamping the last, the first layer. 
the color is so light that you can't really see much but i promise you it is there and that does make a big difference you can see it coming to life i did stamp it maybe two or three times and there you go and then i created some mask for this flowers because i wanted to add some greenery around the flowers and i did exactly the same thing i started off with the second layer instead of the first layer of the leaf with the second shade and then sorry with the first shade and then i stamped it multiple times exactly the same way i did with the flowers here you go i'm just uh, stamping this mask did not want to stay put on me it kept rolling so uh, anyway um and i continued stamping that's the first that's the, the the second layer of the leaf and now i'm stamping the second the third layer of the leaf so the leaf has only three layers and the flower has four layers um so here we go i'm just going to do the third layer of the leaf and once i'm done with the third layer of the leaf now after that i added the last layer then i also added the little bud i wanted you can always leave it here but i wanted to add a little more depth to this color this flower so i took my prismacolor pencils and i started to layer colors so i followed exactly where the artist had laid the shadows and the the highlights and I, I, I put my colors in the same places. So I took the darker shade. In my case, it was a dark blue, a really deep blue uh, pencil. And then I took the, a lighter shade of aqua color and I blended the darker shade into the lighter shade. Now, because the flower already shows me where the shadows are, where the mid-tones are and where the highlights are, it was easy for me to add the colors in the same places. So then I just kept going continuously with all my uh, colors, just just adding the darkest in the in the shadows, the, the aqua, the next color to blend it off. And then I also took the lighter shade and you can see that it's, it's in my bucket there. But before that, this is a blending pen, you just, take this you just scrub this pen over your colored places and it kind of blends the pencil really beautifully and you can see it just it just makes it nice and smooth and it looks beautiful and then i took this lighter shade and i went all over it to blend it and to smooth and bring the colors to life i'm going to leave you to some music uh, while you watch me color or you can skip further and i'll catch you at the end of this
welcome back so now i'm all done coloring and you can see the difference between the first time without the coloring and now with all this beautiful uh, coloring that i did with the pencils and that's how this car fits into that pocket now i'm going to add an additional sentiment on inside the pocket and i'm using this stamp set called inside beautiful inside from all to new and i'm taking a birthday sentiment and i'm going to stamp that right in the center of this colored panel using a black ink and the black ink that i'm using is called the obsidian black ink and it's a beautiful beautiful crisp black ink i've been using versafine for a long period of time but this i just got recently and i've been using this and i'm loving it it just it's just so beautiful and crisp now now what i did is i took this deco foil glue pen and i just squirted it a little bit onto a scrap sheet of paper and then I took this old scrappy fan brush and I dipped it in it and then I just went, um, I just sprinkled that glue all over my stamp panels. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to add foiling as my splashes versus any gold paint. Then I also added a little bit more foil in the flower itself and then I just took my foil. This is a piece of foil that I've been using on and off and I just went because there's enough and more gold foil left in it and I didn't want it to go waste so I'm just using it to um, foil this image wherever the glue the go the deco foil glue was uh, was was on my surface the the foil adhered to it and it really looks beautiful I'll show you in a bit I'll tilt it in the in the light and I'll show you how beautiful it looks and I got a little extra bit there and all you can do is you just take an eraser and then just kind of erase it off and it just comes off easily um, and it looks like nothing happened and there you go see how beautiful that little splash looks it's not a whole lot but it's there it's just beautiful and then I did the same thing also to the pocket so I added that insert to protect the inside of my pocket and I dab, dab the glue onto a scrap paper dip this brush in it and i sprinkled it all over the 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 top of my and then i used a heat gun just so that the glue could ha dry a bit it's it's better when it dries a bit you can see i just tried to foil upside down <laughs> anyway so i'm just using the foil once again to foil the the top the the pocket um, the top of the pocket and then you can see the beautiful gold colors I'm just trying to feel if there is glue anywhere so that I can add it then I can then I die cut the sentiment hope um, this is also from the same hope uh, set it's the coordinating set for that stamp set so I just uh, die cut it using a glitter, glitter cardstock and I'm cutting I'm just trying to adhere the hope right at the edge of this additional sentiment which I have uh, stamped and embossed on a gray cardstock so I just want that P to be on the edge so I just marked off where I want that paper to be the cardstock to be cut and then I just adhered the P to the edge of that so the sentiment reads hope your day is amazing and then I also die cut an additional hope onto a foam um, a f a fun foam and then I'm going to adhere this hope right behind the glittered hope. I'm also going to cut another rectangle strip of um, uh, what you call uh, fun foam to add behind the sentiment as well. There you go. So that everything will be in the same level, so there won't be any sagging. But when you make when you cut when you adhere this rectangle strip, make sure you're adhering away from the P. You don't want it to be anywhere close to the P rim because the P also has uh, um, foam underneath it. And then you just adhere everything together. And then I'm going to put this uh, sentiment combo in the corner, in the left bottom corner of the pocket. So just right there. And it says, hope your day is amazing. And I'm going to also add a few gemstones just to add a little bit more shine to this card you all i mean if you've been watching me you know how much i love my gemstones so i'm just going to take an aqua shade gemstone i didn't want the gems gemstone to be any other color um i didn't want to add any other color to this cardstock um to this panel so i just took the similar color aqua color and i added some splat scattering 
of gemstones all over the place. I'm having a tough time talking today. And there you go. And that finished the top of the card. And all you do is this, you insert this card into it and you are good to go. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will show you the first one that I created as well, uh, the pink one. Here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.